Hi, I'm Angie and I developed a new chocolate bar flavor, an Earl Grey chocolate bar um, and I really need a fun, cool looking um, yeah, chocolate design for it. And I was thinking about Earl Grey and what it represents to me. And I'm using a really, really high quality um, Earl Grey that is very floral and very citrusy. So I thought about um, yeah, creating a florally uh, pattern, um, but as you might know, I'm not the elegant type, so this will be very abstract um, and nothing too dainty um, so that's why I was thinking about um, yeah uh, using my um, airbrush and a normal brush but more to that later and believe it or not um, I make colorful chocolate since 2017 so what's that five years now or something um, and I never use black color so the very first thing we got to do is making black color and um, I have like a very very short uh, video for you how I'm making it I have already uh, melted my cocoa butter, then I'm adding my activated charcoal, adding some glitter, sift everything through so we don't get any lumps, and then we're using an immersion blender to mix everything thoroughly, strain it again just to make sure that we don't get any lumps in there, and that's it. Perfect, so now that we have the color we can start working on our flower pattern, um, but as always uh, the idea is just really in my head, I've never tried it out before, so we figure it out as we go. Let's do it. Here's the mold we're going to use, and here are the colors I want to use. So I have those colors here that I made from scratch, this one here as well. I'm using the aqua blue from Chef Rubber. Um, here's a green that I made from scratch and a yellow as well as this pink and uh, a blue like a silvery blue and for the tools I'm going to use I'm using uh, my airbrush um, I have a link down in the description below and just a regular brush maybe we get you a little bit closer like this all right what I want to do first is using the black and I really just want to make a couple of dots. Oh great, they should be round. <laughs> um, here and there. Because this should be the middle of my flower. And I wanted the black to be really um, dark and sparkly. And what I want to do now is let this completely set. Like, I mean, it shouldn't take more than like a couple of minutes. You see here already it's starting to set. Um, so yeah, let's give it just five minutes. I'll just leave it at room temperature. Um, if it's super hot uh, where you are, um, put it into the fridge for no more than two or three minutes. Yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Now I'm using my airbrush. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm adding just a couple of drops over the black. Make sure to work super, super quick um, because you don't want your colors to set before you've um, had a chance to spray them around with your airbrush. And I'm hoping to create a really, really fun um, yeah, ombre pattern. And no, the colors are already setting, so you really have to work quick. All right. One more and then I'm going straight down with my airbrush oh I should turn it on yeah I'm not sure go in there again I think the black dots might be too large, which either means we should make them smaller or we make our flower petals bigger. Well, let's try that. Still not sure yet, but we just keep going.
Okay, so I think the idea is really good. Like this one over here. I just think those black spots are just way too large. Yeah, I think... But I think we're getting there. I think I'm onto something that I like. And I'm just adding here and there a little bit more color. But because it has already set and I can't really spray it anymore. Actually, I kind of begin to like it. Um, I think we need more colors. I think it's still too empty. Here we are. I'm actually surprised that it turned out pretty well because during the process I thought this is never going to work out because of the black uh, big splotches here. Um, but I think if I can make it work and make smaller black dots, then this is a really, really cool design. And I also feel like it looks like spring and summer and flowery. And that's the, re the result I wanted to achieve. So never in a million years would I have thought that I would um, create something like this before I started it. Um, but I'm actually right now really happy. Let's uh, temper some chocolate, fill the molds, and then uh, we'll take a look how the end result is. Here we go. Not that bad, I have to say. really cool I really never thought the day would turn out like that but I like it I think I might need a little bit more um, poppy colors next time and the black splatches should be um, a little bit smaller and um, less splatchy but other than that I'm really happy Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. If I can't answer your questions, then I'm sure someone else will be able to. So leave them down below or send me a DM on Instagram at Chocolate Spiel. If you're looking for equipment or anything else, um, I have some links in the description below as well. And that's all for today. Have a good one. Bye.